Hi, my name is Stephanie, and I'm a staff biologist in the Rocky Shores and Tundra area. I recently returned from the polar bear capital of the world, Churchill, Manitoba, Canada, a small town on the western Hudson Bay. As part of the Climate Alliance program with Polar Bears International, I joined polar bear keepers from numerous Arctic ambassador centers around the world to learn about polar bear conservation in their natural habitat. The tundra is truly unique. I found myself mesmerized by the growth patterns of the spruce trees and bewildered by the amount of cushion beneath my feet as we stepped foot onto the tundra for the first time. Within the week I was there, I watched as nature changed around me each day in preparation for the first frost. But it isn't just plant life changing. We saw numerous arctic hares with their snowy white coats, willow ptarmigans turning from brown to winter white. But of course, the most incredible sight of them all were the polar bears. During our stay on the Tundra Buggy Lodge, a female bear remained nearby as she awaited the start of the sea ice season. Polar bears rely on the sea ice for their food, seals. But due to global climate change, polar bears are facing longer ice-free periods, increasing their fasting period and forcing them to rely on their fat stores for longer periods of time. On average, the current western Hudson Bay population is spending about a month longer on land than their grandparents did. This extended fasting period has an especially negative impact on mothers and cubs, the future of polar bears. Future generations of polar bears rely on the decisions we make today. We can all make a difference for polar bears and our local communities by choosing renewable energy and working with our neighbors to advocate for where our energy comes from. The Arctic is a special place. From the nightly dancing of the northern lights to the inspiring connection between the locals and the land they call home, bears and all, to watching a polar bear mom and her cub navigate the lichen-filled landscape, it is a community beyond deserving of preservation and a great reminder of the incredible things that rely on the health of our global climate.